Thanks for spending your election night with KOAA News 5. I'm Diane Derby. The polls, they are set to close in just about 15 minutes. We expect results will start coming in from different counties shortly after that. One race we're watching closely is the fight for the 5th Congressional District seat left open by longtime Congressman Doug Lamborn. The top two candidates in this race are Jeff Crank and Democrat River Gasson. We have reporters covering both candidates tonight. The largest election watch party for Republicans in El Paso County is at Boot Barn Hall in the Springs, including congressional candidate Jeff Crank. Bill Folsom is there live following the action. What are you seeing, Bill? Yeah, it is a packed house here tonight. The flags are up, all the tables are filled. In fact, I'm told that they sold out tonight, so it's really standing room only. And if you look over here right now, the candidates are here, including Jeff Crank. He's the favorite for taking over Dan Doug Lamborn's seat. He is out meeting and greeting the crowd, taking pictures with them, letting him know he's grateful they're there and confident about tonight. There's also Michael Allen here, who's the incumbent for DA. Larry Liston, who wants his Senate seat back at the State House. And tonight there's been a prayer, a Pledge of Allegiance, just a minute ago in the national anthem, and a big call for multiple calls to restore American values. That is a Republican call, and that is the Republican Party. They're planning on this party getting bigger as the night goes on. At Boot Barn Hall, Bill Folsom, News 5. Well, thank you. News 5's Maggie Bryan is covering the Democratic candidate in that race, River Gasson. She's joining us live from IBEW Local 113 Union Hall in Colorado Springs. That is where Gasson supporters have gathered. Maggie. So I'm honored to be back with Rose. Yeah, Diane Gasson is hoping to flip Colorado's fifth congressional seat to blue for the first time ever. We're at this watch party here. I just spoke to the El Paso County Democrat vice chair who says he thinks Gasson has a large influence on younger voters, being just 27 years old herself. A lot of people here are also watching the El Paso County commissioner races closely. A Democrat has not held a county commissioner seat in this county since 1971. So we'll be watching for those results when they come in within the next hour. In Colorado Springs, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5. Maggie, thank you. News 5's Allison Zimmerman is joining us now, and she is taking a look at how this election could impact the state legislature. Right, Diane. Well, Democrats hold a supermajority in the state house and a near supermajority in the state Senate. And some of the attention is going to be right here on some of our house districts in El Paso County. Now, a house district 16 and house district 18 are considered uh, more leaning uh, Democratic county or districts in our area. Those are also going to be districts that Republicans are watching closely tonight as well. That's going to do it for our update right now.